I don't remember when that first came on to my phone. It was not an uh, interesting or pleasant experience. At the moment, that I try not to reminisce too much because for me, it was it's something that I don't hold resentment to this day. I was probably around 20 years old at the time, and I had just come out of a major surgery, which I'm sure you've all heard about, totally open surgery, and I shared that with you. At the time, I was still trying to regain my balance, because when you go through something like that, you lose your mobility, your balance on things. But I was also regaining my self identity. I was having a rebirth of my identity. I was dressing more feminine, growing my hair out. And Finally, becoming comfortable with who I am. I started to like how I looked. I started to like how I looked in the mirror. For, for others, the change was too much for their liking. I received a lot of criticism because they didn't understand it. I had an altercation with my older sibling one day, one night actually. At the time, I didn't, we didn't realize my family had me, that he had an undiagnosed of psychosis. So he was having an episode, and unfortunately, that episode was directed towards me. The situation was that he aggressively pushed me. Not for some, that's nothing. But for me at the time, it was a whole lot of something. But if I had fallen and lost my balance, then I would have to go to the ER. Luckily, I gained my compulsion. I got myself out of that area and regained and understand, try to understand what just happened. I was very shaken. I couldn't rely on anyone at the moment because everyone that I could rely on was either sleeping or not home. So I called up my home. What happened? He said to wait for me. So I waited. And as I was waiting, my father had gotten up. And usually, when the situation like that happened, you expect them to de escalate the situation. But unfortunately, it made the situation even worse. They both started antagonizing me, accusing me of things, saying things like, I'm talking about them on my social media account, insinuating that I'm transitioning, just vicious and malicious lies that made no sense. <coughs> My brother came home finally. Well, first off, he went off on him, like any other brother would. But he could tell I was visibly, I was visibly upset. So he arranged for me to stay at my cousin's house. 
My husband called me. I told him to get ready. Pack your body. I'm going to come with you. When I got back on floor, I was a little bit. Because so much had just happened. And I felt unsafe in my own house. But I had an escape room. I had to run down of this situation. I had to come out. Because I felt that there was no more time to me. I had to make that conscious decision to be true to who I am. The obvious but little help man in the room was finally addressed. It bothered me to think of this because while I was put in such a vulnerable position, I had a lot of support. Support from my brother, support from my sister in law, my relatives, and countless others. I'm here to tell you what I've learned in life so far. It gets better. I'm sure you've all heard this expression, an expression that Dan Savage had coined. He coined it in 2010. It's a great expression, but I think we need to revise it a little bit. Because here's the thing. Yes, it does get better, but only if you want it to. Over the past few weeks, of numerous pieces. I have told you things, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> you have told me things, and maybe you shouldn't have. And today I'm going to show you why, if you keep per persevering in life, you can really change out things with it. Things go within your life. As someone who is disabled, a queer person of color, and has gone through life with an insane number of obstacles. I feel like I'm the poster boy of all these things. I speak to you about this because I know all of you, like me, have gone through things. Have gone through hardship and trying times in your life. That have been otherwise hard to right? So today I'm going to tell you the three things that have helped me get through the many barriers in my life. Hardship, life experience, and resiliency. So let's dive in, because let me tell you, it was not an easy ride. Yep. Hardship. I've had many of those in my 29 years. Sometimes I think maybe too many. A lot of those were health related and they gave me viewpoints that not many would gain at such a young age. Having so many surgeries that I've had, 50 plus that I had to make an estimate. What? You look at life a little differently. But you broke mine. Yep. These hardships helped me gain a different skin for a world that wasn't intended for me. Because of these hardships, And I was unlike it allowed me to become a force of resilience, able to take on any obstacle that came my way. And I'm sure you have obstacles that come here. Well, resiliency is an important characteristic one should have as it helps you overcome situations that you thought you would never be able to. For example, I did not think I was going to make through my 20th century. I thought it was an honor because of the risk it is interactive. But I went through with it, overcame the growing pain, fully recovered, and it had changed my life kind of 
ไวๆจนจุ่มก็ตาอันนี้เราจะได้แต่เขาเนี่ยตับสุดไวๆเนี่ยมันไวแล้วไวเราตัดเนี่ยตับเราเนี่ยแต่ไวเนี่ยมันตัดตัดจุดตับเราถึงว่าไวเท่าที่ว่ามันไวเป็นไปถึงว่าเราเราไปบีนไฟบีนไฟไปไวแอนเทอร์เบียร์เทอร์เบียร์ตัวอะไรก็ไป alternating situation ตาบีนมันเปิดไม่ตรวจสมมติว่าคุณเกิดมาแบบเป็นแบบของคนไหนอันนี้เปิดมาเห็นจับเลยอันนี้ไปตรวจได้ไหมนี่มันตัวเองยูสระมีตัวสระมาตรวจได้ที่บ้านสิ่งนี้ไม่ได้เกิดมาตั้งแต่เพื่อนฟิลพอยเกิดมาตั้งแต่เพื่อนฟิลพอยได้จับตัวเองแล้วก็ตัวว่าเราเราต้องไปมีการทุ่มเทที่เทอร์อยากจะมีแต่ความชินเป็นตัวสิ่งที่มันเป็นประโยชน์ถึงมีอะไรไว้แต่อยากเอ็ดดับแก่ไปก็ไม่ได้ไม่ว่าจะไอคอนจะเอาแอนด์บัตทั้งหลายทั้งหลายตัดไปตัดลงเก็บไปแล้วทำไมจีโม่ต้องเอาไปแก่ตัวมัน